Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and uh, this is just a message called Working with the Holy Spirit. So uh, I uh, spent from uh, the age of eight uh, all of my life from that time uh, getting to know Jesus and growing in relationship with Jesus and uh, from the age of uh, probably 14, I was hearing Jesus from uh, early age, uh, between eight and 14, I'd hear from Jesus in uh, songs on the radio and uh, I'd have uh, songs, uh, choruses uh, play in my mind when I was thinking of certain things and uh, they would brighten me up. I might be uh, feeling sad and uh, a chorus would come that uh, we sing. Uh, many of the choruses were taken from a book called Scripture and Song. And uh, so many of the choruses I knew were actually scriptures. And uh, they'd come to mind. And uh, sometimes I'd have verses come to mind and brighten me up. Um, all of that time, I assumed it was Jesus, but really that was the Holy Spirit uh, bringing me up and teaching me and encouraging me and blessing me. I grew up uh, years uh, 27, 28, uh, 20 years ago. I read a book uh, by Madame Guyon, uh, Experiencing the Depths of Jesus Christ. And in that book, uh, it taught... Uh, me how to have a two-way relationship with Jesus and have a two-way conversation uh, with Jesus. And uh, my life uh, really developed uh, from that point on. Um, after many years, uh, Jesus introduced me to his father. He didn't introduce me straight away, but after many, many years. And uh, I come to start a relationship uh, with the father, uh, with God, and uh, I developed, but the last uh, person of the Trinity, uh, the last part of the Trinity I started uh, to get to know uh, was the Holy Spirit. And um, it's funny that uh, I can't really teach, I haven't got a book on working with the Holy Spirit, uh, I haven't got a, really an, an understanding of uh, how the Holy Spirit directs me, but. Uh, he gives me ideas, he speaks to me and gives me uh, the inspiration to uh, do this teaching and share this uh, with you. Um, I get a thought, uh, Holy Spirit works in your thought life. I get a thought, uh, do a video on working with the Holy Spirit. So I had a friend uh, I talked to pretty extensively uh, each day and uh, sometimes for hours a day. and. Uh, I can be overwhelming. I've got a lot of life and a lot of life to process. And sometimes uh, uh, speaking to me at long period of times every day uh, can be a bit overwhelming. And as an example, um, uh, I thought of uh, this person today, Andrea, and uh, thought of contacting her and the Holy Spirit said, give her a day off, um, just uh, spend some time uh, by yourself today and uh, uh, relax and uh, don't be uh, wanting to talk to her today. Uh, we're just going to give her some time by herself. And that sort of uh, suggestion, if you didn't have the Holy Spirit, uh, a person may be a little worn down of you and needing a break. And if you didn't have the Holy Spirit tell you that, uh, you may contact and want to talk to the person, the person uh, against their will uh, would talk to you and feel a bit used and feel a bit uh, upset and feel a bit uh, pressured and worn down by you. And uh, it wouldn't uh, help the relationship. Uh, but I'm fortunate that uh, I hear from the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit speaks to me and is able to say, Matthew, um, give uh, Andrea a break today and uh, give her some time. Uh, to recuperate and uh, process some of the things uh, that uh, you discussed yesterday. And uh, 
And when the Holy Spirit says it, uh, it's a direction of the Holy Spirit and it's wisdom. Uh, it ca- comes with the grace uh, to uh, get through the day without speaking to your friend and uh, comes with uh, the love and the understanding of the Holy Spirit that uh, you'll be able to cope today. You don't need to speak to Andrea. Um, and uh, we're going to give you things to do. I've just spent uh, the last two hours uh, doing uh, six prophecies and three angel messages, which are services I uh, 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 provide on my website. It took a lot of time and uh, spiritual energy uh, uh, to do those. And uh, so um, I slept a lot today, uh, got up and uh, spent some time uh, doing those prophecies and angel messages and now I'm in a good place. So the Holy Spirit uh, <coughs> uh, will tell me, uh, you know, get yourself a coffee and start on those prophecies now. And uh, um, as I uh, deliver the prophecies, the Holy Spirit uh, brings uh, the voice of Jesus uh, to me as I uh, do the prophecies and release uh, prophetic words in the spirit of Jesus. and uh, But uh, every time you're hearing from God or hearing from Jesus, uh, you're hearing the, the communication device, the, the, um, the internet uh, signal, uh, the signal that uh, communicates Jesus' voice and the Father's voice is the Holy Spirit, the base signal uh, carries. Uh, the voice of Jesus and uh, Father. So when you're uh, having a two-way conversation with the Father or you're having a two-way conversation with Jesus, it's always the Holy Spirit uh, transmitting uh, that voice. Uh, Holy Spirit is uh, very humble. Um, He doesn't like people worshipping him and uh, giving him praise. Uh, He uh, pushes and directs all the worship and the glory uh, to Jesus and the Father. Uh, He's uh, very humble and uh, he's a real servant. He's a real uh, servant leader. Uh, He's very wise. Um, I have been told and I've come to realise that um, I'm quite intelligent and uh, I come up with uh, really good ideas and uh, I've got this uh, really uh, sharp mind and uh, creative mind. And yet when the Holy Spirit gives me an idea and gives me wisdom and gives me direction, he's just so so much smarter, just so much more intelligent. Um, when you compare how I'm going to do something and then the Holy Spirit comes along and gives a suggestion how to do it, it's just so much uh, more superior and uh, wiser. Um, Holy Spirit's got beautiful timing, like uh, he knows uh, when to direct you to uh, get really deep and personal about the gospel with a person. Um, He's able to direct the person's uh, questions. Uh, uh, He's able to work on a person's life and uh, give that person a question to ask you and when you uh, answer that question through the wisdom that you have or what the Holy Spirit supplies, the person is really refreshed and you really see a person asking about Jesus uh, really encouraged and uh, the message uh, really goes in and they really learn something. So Holy Spirit's on two sides of the equation. He's speaking to your friend that you really admire and they're thinking about things and They think about a question uh, that they want to know about the kingdom. Uh, It's the Holy Spirit that gives them that question, the inclination to ask the question. Then they come over and speak to you. And uh, as you answer the question, the information and knowledge and the wisdom uh, that you need to provide the answer, that comes from the Holy Spirit too. So the Holy Spirit works in people, interacting with each other in uh, and fellowshipping uh, with each other. So uh, I uh, uh, do all my videos. I come up with a title uh, called Working with the Holy Spirit. And then I've got no idea 
uh, what I'm going to speak. Uh, I've got uh, no idea what my sentences are going to be. Uh, I've got no idea of the illustrations and the stories I'm going to use to uh, bring home my points. Uh, I've got no idea now uh, what I'm going to say in the next few sentences. Uh, and because I have no idea, because something's not planned, uh, because uh, this teaching isn't written down and I'm not reading from notes, it leaves uh, space uh, for the Holy Spirit to bring inspiration. It leaves a total canvas uh, for the Holy Spirit uh, to paint on. and. Uh, I've learned to uh, speak without preparation. I've learned to speak without notes so that uh, the very thoughts and the very ideas and the very things I say, everything uh, can be inspired and directed uh, by the Holy Spirit. And uh, I'll start a teaching like this and start a video like this. Uh, the only thing I really do is... Um, uh, comb my hair and make sure I'm haven't got stains on my shirt and uh, turn on the computer and press record and they're the things I do and then uh, I start to speak and the Holy Spirit takes over and takes direction and uh, is the choir master and and he you know um, I here's another illustration um, I was thinking once that I don't like getting wet. I don't like going out uh, when it's shining, uh, sunshine. And uh, in the middle of the night, being caught in rain, walking home uh, without an umbrella. So I said to the Holy Spirit years ago, uh, can you uh, tell me uh, when it's going to rain sometime, uh, when to take the umbrella? And uh, I'll get directed as I'm going to open my door uh you need to take your umbrella today and uh, that was a simple request of the holy spirit uh, uh can you please uh tell me so i don't get wet and um, if i ignore that if i say oh no i'll be right and i go out my door and i go out for the day sure enough i get wet <laughs> and uh, i have ignored that a couple of times i uh, couldn't be bothered uh, sometimes taking an umbrella on a train and public transport and always uh, making sure I pick up my umbrella. I, sometimes uh, I lose, well, so many times I've lost umbrellas by leaving it on a train or leaving it uh, where uh, at a cafe or leaving it wherever, forgetting that uh, I've got the umbrella with me. So I've lost so many umbrellas, so <laughs> it's annoying sometimes to take an umbrella because I know that I've got to pay attention uh, to it uh, for the rest of the day and make sure I pick it up. Um, umbrellas break and, uh, and uh, it's annoying that uh, they don't last very long with all the spikes uh, existing. And uh, we can break uh, like an umbrella. Uh, we can uh, have faults in us and uh, parts of us that aren't operating to efficiency and uh, I remember the Apostle Paul, um, he had a demon. I uh, had a sort of like a principality uh, demon that used to follow him uh, into every town uh, that he went to to preach. And the principality would come on to people and uh, touch people's lives and uh, cause them to rise up and cause trouble for Paul. And uh, Paul realised that... Uh, there was an entity uh, following him around and uh, coming into people and causing a ruckus. Uh, he got uh, uh, beaten with rods, which means that um, people uh, beat, you, beat you up and they bruise your bones. And when your bones are bruised, it, it's agony. It really hurts. And um, he, he was in agony for three weeks sometimes with every part of him on fire. And uh, got really beaten by, by uh, beaten with rods, and all his bones were aching uh, in agony for three weeks. Couldn't sleep for three weeks, and uh, was in tremendous agony. That happened to him a few times, and he got whipped thirty nine lashes a few times. You can understand if that was happening, and that was happening because trouble was being stirred up uh, by this demon that uh, followed him around, this principality or whatever it was. 
uh, following him around, you can understand why he would say uh, to the Lord, uh, please remove this uh, thorn in the flesh, please remove this from me. And uh, it was so amazing that uh, uh, Jesus answered, my grace is sufficient for you. What an answer, you know, like, it's not the answer you want to hear uh, that uh, that Jesus is saying, no, we're going to allow the beatings uh, to continue. We're going to allow the suffering to uh, continue. And uh, our grace is, um, our love and our uh, communication with you is going to be enough to sustain you. Um, could you handle uh, that sort of life? Uh, so many. Uh, people on Facebook uh, call themselves apostles and uh, have apostles such and such and apostle this. And uh, I'm not sure many of them, uh, you know, go through the sufferings of Paul. So Paul was a person who was totally directed by the Holy Spirit. Uh, everything uh, he said, every uh, opening of his mouth, uh, all his wisdom, uh, come from the Holy Spirit. Uh, Holy Spirit even uh, gave him messages to stir up the ruckus. Uh, sometimes uh, I can uh, share a message uh, uh, with uh, on my YouTube. Uh, that there's an element in it uh, that uh, is planted by the Holy Spirit uh, to cause offence, uh, to cause someone uh, to question the message and have a problem with the message and. Uh, sometimes you get more advertisement uh, in this world if you've got something offensive, uh, something controversial in what you said, and people who disagree uh, will advertise that to themselves or talk about you to other people, and more people will come to watch what you had to say uh, because of it. Um, so the Holy Spirit is really wise. Um, he really is the source if uh, you're a person who's read my books. Uh, I don't credit him uh, as the co-writer. Sometimes I've felt uh, when I'm uh, uploading the books onto Amazon, I, um, I feel like uh, notating uh, in where you put uh, author name. Sometimes I feel like um, putting an author name, Holy Spirit, um, as a co-writer. Uh, I really, uh, I really can't give credit uh, to myself um, when you understand that much of what you write uh, or much of what you say is inspired by the Holy Spirit. Uh, it makes it hard to uh, take the credit and uh, receive uh, personal glory uh, for what you've written uh, because you know that when you come to dictate the files, and I dictate all my books, I, I preach all my books, I uh, record files uh, for my books. Uh, so they're dictated, so uh, I have nothing to say, and then my mouth is uh, filled with inspiration and things to say. And so, uh, so much of what I say is, uh, given to me by the Holy Spirit. Sure, I'm involved and the Holy Spirit will use my mouth. He'll, he'll use my stories. Uh, he'll use my intellect. He'll use my words. Uh, he'll work around uh, my deficiencies, like uh, I'm not fully shaven. Uh, I uh, get an itchy nose and I itch my nose. Uh, I say um and ah all the time uh, as I pause in between the things that I say. So there's very much me. Uh, I've got the unshaven look. Uh, I've got the ums and ahs in everything I say. I've got my smile. I've got my tonality. I've got my tiredness or awakeness. Uh, I've got my anointing. Uh, but so much of the message is the Holy Spirit uh, speaking and directing me and I really look forward, uh, I've met the Holy Spirit before, but I really look forward to heaven and seeing the visible uh, manifestation of the Holy Spirit and uh, spending time with him and thanking him uh, for his life. Uh, 
I uh, sometimes uh, to friends, to people I understand, uh, I describe the Holy Spirit as my PA, uh, as my personal assistant. He's the one who uh, tells me to get a coffee and start and do those prophecies. He's the one who, when I think of Andrew in the morning, uh, that gives me a, a warm warning, uh, don't uh, be contacting her and don't be trying to uh, have her speak to you on the phone today. Uh, she needs a day of rest. It's his wisdom. Uh, if you push that and uh, didn't have that warning, if, if I was uh, an average Christian who can't hear from the Holy Spirit, uh, that uh, vital uh, friendship, she's uh, the closest person to me in my life, um, that very vital friendship could be strained or injured. Uh, and uh, I know the enemy is uh, very much against our relationship and would like me to uh, force her to or guilt her into uh, talking to me when she's having a day off and needing some time to herself. Uh, but the Holy Spirit's really wise to say that in the morning and uh, each of you can uh, learn uh, to be directed and spoken to and organised by the Holy Spirit. I not aware of what I'm going to uh, preach next. Uh, uh, it'll be the Holy Spirit that uh, helps me upload this video. Uh, and in the time I'm uploading this video, he may inspire me with another title, with another message. And as this video uploads, I may be uh, sharing another message that uh, was given to me by inspiration of the Holy Spirit and uh, each of my words were formed and uh, created uh, by the Holy Spirit in the next message, if I do the next message. Uh, he's just so much part of my life. Uh, uh, Jesus is there and I say hello to Jesus and I carry the presence of Jesus. I talk to the Father. I, I uh, debrief with Jesus as I go to bed. I have a conversation with Jesus. We talk about the day and talk about him and talk about his influence in my life. But day to day, uh, minute by minute, uh, hour by hour, decision by decision, the Holy Spirit is uh, part of my life. I really uh, am submitted uh, to God. Uh, my time is God's. Uh, my resources are God's, uh, my wisdom and intellect and giftings are God's. Everything I, I achieve, everything that I have, has come to me by God. Even uh, my computer and my TV and the finances and the way my house is decorated, uh, everything is a gift. Everything is... Uh, uh, supplied to me uh, by uh, the gift of God. And I'm so happy uh, people uh, uh, send me money. Some people um, are inspired by the Holy Spirit uh, to uh, send me large amounts of money uh, for my books. I've got a finance angel that uh, speaks to people and encourages people uh, to give to me, but also the Holy Spirit uh, works on that. Uh, the Holy Spirit uh, works on the hearts of people uh, to listen to my video and uh, take the time to write a comment and encourage me that uh, the video was really good. Uh, the Holy Spirit is there when I read the Bible uh, to illuminate the Bible. The Holy Spirit uh, is present sometimes when I read an author's book and the presence of the Holy Spirit is there working with me and ministering to me. Uh, you're aware sometimes uh, when you read of a presence uh, that a book can be anointed and you can be filled with joy and peace as you read the book. And I like to read books that are anointed, that are page turners. And it's the presence of the Holy Spirit that anoints the book. Uh, uh, it's the Holy Spirit that uh, 
uh, hovers over my books. And as people read my books, uh, they report to me that they couldn't put them down and they were page turners. And people report to me that uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit was on my books and my books are really anointed. And that's all the work of the Holy Spirit. He, he gives me the subject to speak on. He gives me uh, the knowledge to share. He gives me the illustrations to share. Uh, he gives me the directions on when to send it uh, to get typed and the directions of uh, what picture to choose uh, for the cover. Uh, he gives me directions on uh, how to edit the book uh, when I'm reading the book with my editor. He gives uh, my editor uh, inspiration on how to rewrite my words and fashion my words so they look good. Uh, he really, he's like a silent hero. He's like an unnamed hero. Of course, he works in churches to uh, bring the presence of God. Uh, he works in individual uh, pastors' lives to uh, give the pastor the anointing and the power uh, to hold an audience and uh, bring a message. Uh, he's uh, working with individual Christians to uh, bring the presence of God to them as they worship. Uh, he speaks to people and uh, uh, gives ongoing conversation to people as the preacher is uh, preaching, he'll help a person think that's really applicable and uh, that applies to what uh, Harry did to me yesterday and that's a good example of that. And uh, You mightn't realise that when a preacher's preaching, there's a running commentary happening in your mind saying yes and amen and uh, that really applies to me and I should really listen to that. Uh, the Holy Spirit is everywhere and doing everything and... Uh, he's uh, he's a real blessing. He uh, it'll be interesting to uh, one day when my ministry grows to uh, have a personal assistant who's arranging my schedules and arranging my meetings and arranging things that I do. Uh, she'll have to be really directed uh, by the Holy Spirit and, uh, because it'll uh, be different to have someone arranging my day than uh, relying on the Holy Spirit. So um, He interprets the Bible. He gives wisdom uh, to the Bible. He uh, illuminates scripture and gives you revelation, gives you uh, rhema words uh, from the Bible. He's the one that uh, highlights the scripture in the Bible and it comes alive for you in a day and speaks to you. He's the one that gets the Logos word of the Bible and transforms it into a message that's uh, relevant to you in that situation and on that day. Uh, he directs your fingers uh, and angels, uh, direct your fingers in the word of God uh, for you to end up on a certain page. And uh, he directs your eyes to a certain place on that page so you read a certain scripture and then he illuminates that scripture and brings it alive and it speaks to uh, your current struggle or your current situation and sometimes you're really overtaken sometimes in tears uh, you're really blessed and the Holy Spirit does all of that uh, he doesn't uh, stand up to be worshipped he, he uh, really uh, uh, redirects uh, his praise. Uh, some Pentecostal churches uh, make God of him and uh, celebrate him and try to lift him up. And uh, he deflects that. And if he has his will, he'll redirect that uh, to uh, Jesus and the Father. Um, he's uh, my sort of person. Uh, he's very uh, wise and very smart and very intelligent. Uh, I have to wonder how many ideas of mine are my ideas. Uh, certainly uh, the ideas of mine that aren't very great uh, come from me, but the ones that are outstanding and when you put into practice uh, really uh, work well, uh, they're the ideas of the Holy Spirit. So hope that has given you some understanding 
into the uh, workings of the Holy Spirit. I hope uh, that you're encouraged. Uh, I'll just pray now. So, dear Father, I pray that uh, every listener of yours, uh, every listener of this video would uh, understand uh, the voice of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would start to speak and communicate with each of the uh, people who watch this video that uh, uh, the Holy Spirit, that you would make yourself known and start to place your thoughts in the people's minds and direct uh, the people of God who are listening to this uh, with your thoughts and your leadings and that they would start to recognise sometimes for the first time that you're speaking and uh, that they would have a thought that that thought came from the Holy Spirit and they really need to apply it. So I pray that um, the listeners of uh, this video not only will replay this video and learn from this video and capture what I say, but uh, they'll go on and uh, uh, be spoken to and directed uh, by the Holy Spirit from this day on. Uh, amen. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Um, if you've liked this video, uh, please uh, take the time, if you've got a YouTube account, to uh, make a comment and tell me what you think. Uh, my uh, uh, ministry website is in the description tag. Uh, if uh, you'd like to request a prophecy or uh, have a picture of your angel, or learn the name of your angel and get a message from your angel, uh, uh, apply and uh, request a service on my website. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, write an email, uh, get in touch with me through my website. Uh, may God bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen.